the ending of Narcos Mexico season two yes. is not about some car chase or some explosion. It's two phenomenal actors sitting across from one another having this conversation where Felix is basically laying out yes. the future. Here's what's he, gonna happen. He, yeah. he sees everything and yes. he lays it out. I love the ending. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how you decided that would be where it was and crafting that scene? We, we are often, in every season of Narcos, it seems we are inspired by uh, films that we had seen and stories we had heard. And, and you know, I think that particular scene was very much, much influenced by Heat about you know the need to have these two adversaries sit down and and face off and to get some sense of their ideology, but in this case, what what I think is very unique about uh, this show is that at this point they are no longer that point of this, this the season they're no longer adversaries. It's over, and they've both lost. Neither one of them got the thing that they wanted, um, and went into this thing very naively, um, thinking, you know, Scoot's character thinking that I'm gonna go down and get justice. It's that simple. We're gonna go down, we're gonna kick ass, we're gonna win. And Felix Gallardo believing that he could control this partnership he had with the government and, uh, and that he wasn't disposable. A guy who had made himself so important in the economy of Mexico that he was above the law. And both guys find out that they're wrong and they're having this conversation about where it's going to go. And what's, what I really appreciate about the scene and, and their performances are spectacular is that Scoot, Scoot's character, um, knows that Gallardo is right and he's still not going anywhere. And it's such a, gr it's such a great um, metaphor for you know, American foreign policy, particularly in the war on drugs, where we continue to fail and yet we continue to proceed in the same direction. You can tell me I'm wrong and I'll agree with you, but this is the, the path I'm on. And so that's, that scene for us um, really kind of brought the season home. I'm glad you, you liked it. Oh. It's fantastic. Yeah, um, it's very well done. Well, the thing also about season two is, it, like some of the previous seasons of Narcos have some real brutality and violence. Yeah. And while season two of Narcos Mexico has some violence, it's pretty subdued mm -hmm. compared to others. But it's also like this middle chapter knowing what, what Felix is saying is basically telling you what the next season might be in yes. terms of, holy shit, the shit is going to hit the fan. Yes. So, it's very much an acceleration into chaos. But we're still in the early days of it. You know, this is, the, I would say that Felix Gallardo going to jail and the splintering of this thing he had built into these fiefdoms uh, was the beginning of, of, you know, the first incredibly violent chapter of, you know, the drug war heading, heading into the next, you know, into, you know, the, the, the 90s where it gets really ugly um, because that thing that held everybody together, which was, you know, Felix Gallardo and his dream is gone. And so, you know, the, the killing starts. And where we go, you know, it, up into the present, you look at today, what's going on, many of the same guys, same old guard cartel guys, you know, the, the Sinaloa cartel, the Juarez cartel, the Gulf cartel, and, and remnants, the, the Ariana Felix cartel in, in, in Tijuana and remnants of these cartels are waging war against a new generation of cartels that are incredibly violent, that have none of the, the code, um, you know, who, have, who are, are truly characterized only by their propensity for violence. It's the only move they have. And, you know, as we watch this happen, um, we're rooting for the old guys to win because the, the reality of the new generation Jalisco cartel or Los Zetas or any of these groups is that they are, they are just about bodies hanging from telephone poles. But this here, this season two of Mexico is really where we reach that point of no return and then go hurtling off into, into chaos.